you are take you've taken a leadership uh, for the NFL with mental health, and um, I mean you've been through, through so much, Eric, and to be able to talk about it is incredible and strong. Um, so, what's the what's the biggest challenge for somebody that's dealt with suicidal thoughts or suicide in the family? Is it is it the stigma, or what what is the biggest challenge you have to go through on a daily basis? Well, uh, it's multifaceted. Um, the main thing is, uh, the, the biggest challenge is to keep going when things look really, really dark. And the only way you can do that, and, and we can call it resilience, I mean, there's a bunch of tag words for it. The only way you really can do that is if there's hope. And what brings people hope is example of somebody who's made it through something. Mm-hmm. Uh, what brings people hope is that um, there's somebody there lending a hand, okay, that puts their hand on their shoulder at the time that they really, really need it. It's making eye contact with somebody and, and really showing that you care. Those little pieces of hope is really what pulls people through. And I, I, and I think just in the, the messaging, um, trying to be an example of somebody who's gone through a lot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, maybe I should, you know, thank the Detroit Lions for putting me through a lot. So I, so I have this resilience. I'm not sure. But my brother used to say, oh, I made you tough because I used to beat on me when I was a kid, right? Yeah. He goes, I made you a star. I go, no, it doesn't work that way. But, <laughs> yay. But the point being is it's, a, it's that hope that you have that, you know, things will be better because somebody's there for you. And that's that support system. Well, I'm, I'm thankful for you sharing your story and being, uh, being out there because it's tough. It, it's hard. And um, I think for, for, for a guy who's played in the NFL, been in the league, it is, it's tough to be able to have be that macho man to say there's stuff that's going on with you and being able to have somebody there to be able to talk about it, have that hope, but also have someone that you can maybe – talk about the things that are going on with you because a lot of these guys, they're human beings. They're all yeah. dealing with stuff on and off the field. That, that's just it. And I think that's really, really important, important part. You know, after the impact, after the impact.org, after the impact was built around um, players, okay, helping each other, but also reaching out to veterans, helping veterans because they go through the same type of transitional issues. when they're there. And then just recently we added um, the former president of Dow Chemical, uh, Matt Davis, who came in and has, you know, he, he ran, you know, a $60 billion plus company, right? And so for him and his transition, we find out, oh my gosh, we all kind of got this stuff going through, but it's a human thing. And so that means everybody, you know, probably falls in that category, whether it might be a, a tragedy. And we saw a tragedy yesterday, right? Where how, how it affects so many people and that shocking stuff that goes on and what, you know, his wife's going to deal with and, and all so it could be any moment at any time in any body. And so I think that's why there, as far as the humanistic side of it, is uh, to be able to be there and to, to reach out a hand and stuff when you need to and say, you know, you're not alone. And the advice you'd give somebody that's, that's going through something right now, that, you know, not feeling good about themselves, or what, what's the best piece of advice you can give? I went through the, uh, uh, at one point in time uh, in transition where um, – I thought I'd be better off not being around, mm-hmm. okay? So I, I don't know if I want to call it giving up or as much as I thought my family would be better off without me and I jumped out of a car that was going 75 miles an hour. Um, I survived that. After going through that, I realized, and after watching my son's uh, death and the pain that's left behind, I know, okay, that, that that is not the way to go. The way to go is to hang on. Keep hanging on, keep hanging on, keep hanging on. Your life is worth it. Life is a joy to live, right? And if you don't have it right now, then keep reaching because you will have it. And it's then it's up to the rest of us to reach out and give that person hope. Because once they get it, right, and they pull forward, then they can turn around and give it back. But it's just that not giving up is, is the best thing I can give. You know, Thank, for, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm telling you, yeah. just to share your story is it's a big, it's a, a big plus for people out there. I mean, 